So sometimes what happens is that for your purpose, the interface in the, the interface that is shown in the new version uh, may confuse you or may not be well suited to you, or you may not have the internet to install the uh, plugin and you want to download it and so that you can use it later. So for that, uh, in this today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how you can uh, download the plugin manually and then later on you can uh, install it uh, in the QGIS. Uh, this SAP plugin, uh, we can download manually. Uh, they have provided, provided this release version. I'll provide you these links in the description and what now we can do that is I don't need this latest version. I need the previous one version and let it be 7.80 version. So let me, I will be downloading this version source code. Now I'll just click, clicking left click here. Now my data has been downloaded successfully. Now you can notice here and it's is it's in the zip version. We're just extracting this one, just uh, extract to once you extract it, just simply copy this and you just go to this one option of drive C, then you go to your users, go to your, uh, I mean, since my laptop name is still, I'll be going here, in your case it might be different, and then you go to app data, roaming, QGIS, QGIS 3 profiles default and you go to this Python plugins and just paste it here. Now after pasting it here just rename this one part because uh, this is not what we want. Now everything looks good okay one more thing that uh, you can do here is what uh, you need to do is uh, what one more important thing you have to do here and that thing is you just copy this one folder this folder because with inside this folder not inside this folder this one folder all files are kept so we need to copy this one just copy this one and just uh, after copying it just paste it okay now it's empty okay now what we have is what we got is we don't need this one anymore we don't need this one and uh, within the 7.8 our all files are present now we'll be just uh, doing a bit of renaming here just rename it here and just let it be only this one okay now everything looks good within this folder within this main folder every files are stored okay that's good now we'll be going here and just go to plugins, manage and install plugins. And now what you do is you just go here and type here SCP and just click on this one. The same metadata is broken or something like that is the past file. So we'll be closing this file and again opening the file. Now you directly go to plugins, manage and install plugins. and just type here SCP and now you can see here just uh, there is option to tick it just tick it there after you once tick it here now you can notice that you have got your plugin and this plugin is version 7.80 so this is what I wanted now if you look here you can see SCP and you can see a different kind of interface. This is how you really install the plugin manually in QGIS. So make sure that while extracting that zip file, zip uh, folder, and make sure that the plugin 
uh, is, is there is the main folder and after that main folder all files are present as you are going to see some kind of error.